Flying cars have been associated with the future for as long as anyone can remember. And honestly, we see why. Who wouldn't want to hop in their car, take off vertically from their driveway, and casually fly on over to work, skipping all that terrible rush hour traffic in the process? Well, this future may be here sooner than you think, and Hyundai is leading the charge. They've pledged $1.5 billion to their urban air mobility division by the year 2025, which means it's only a couple more years until these new cars are up and running. Want to know more? Oh, we got the scoop for you right here. When you think of flying cars, you usually think of the movies. Back to the Future Part 2 released in 1989 and which grossed an impressive $331,971,881 at the box office, famously depicted flying cars, only they got a few things wrong. First off, that movie is set in the year 2015, and well, we're way past that year now. Second, these cars seem to hover and move due to futuristic rocket technology. We I hate to break it to you, but if flying cars are going to be a reality, it's highly unlikely they'll look like what you see here. In fact, we have a pretty gosh darn good idea of what they will look like, thanks to a little car company known as Hyundai. With these guys, flying cars aren't science fiction, they are reality and they've been putting in the resources to make it so. In fact, there's some speculation that Hyundai's initial flying cars could be here by 2025. That's not too far off at all. Here's how they plan to do it. Hyundai has been very vocal about just how seriously they are taking sky-hopping supercars. In 2019, their Urban Air Mobility Division publicly stated that they will invest $1.5 billion by the year 2025, and even went on to say that these cars won't only be for residential use, they will be for transporting commercial cargo. One conceptual model called the SA-1 is particularly exciting as it's been dubbed the first commercial flying taxi that will get commuters where they need to go in the cities of the future. Hyundai has even partnered with Uber for this one. Oh, that's right, get ready to call your own personal flying car from your phone. Hyundai clearly sees this market as a huge potential for profit, and the proof is in the projections. Morgan Stanley has estimated that urban air mobility could be a $1 trillion market by the year 2040, and a $9 trillion market by 2050. Looks like Hyundai is in this for the long term, and if things keep going the way they are, they're going to be very happy indeed. So how much will these cars cost? Certainly flying car technology can't be cheap, but are they going to be anywhere near affordable? Well, as you can imagine, you're going to have to cough up a pretty penny if you want to flounce right over all that morning commute traffic. While we don't have an exact price on Hyundai's upcoming model, we do have prices of some of their competitors. Aeromobile's models are looking to cost between $1.2 million and $1.6 million. Another competitor, Terra Fugia, has their car slated for $279,000, but Engineering Magazine Popular Mechanics is skeptical. They don't believe this price point is realistic when you take into account labor and developmental costs. Oh, and of course, there's one more cost you have to consider when you take to the skies in a flying car, and that's the cost of your insurance. Again, no official numbers have been released, but let's be honest here, folks you'd be insuring yourself not only for the road, but for the skies. It's going to be a lot. So, what are the stats for Hyundai's car of the future? Will it be worth it to pick one up? Check this out. Hyundai has stated that its upcoming SA-1 will be completely emissions-free, will seat up to four passengers, and will be capable of both electrical takeoff and vertical landing. There's eight rotors on this bad boy, and its cruising altitude will be between 1,000 and 2,000 feet in the air. The top speed, just about 200 miles per hour. This means a trip from JFK International Airport to Manhattan will be reduced from 60 to 90 minutes to just about five to seven minutes. Take that, New York traffic. What else can we tell you about this electric flying wonder? Well, it only needs about six to seven minutes to recharge its battery and be good to go with a full tank. Uh, actually, it's not a tank, is it? It's a full battery. Yeah, that, that sounds right. The fact that it's electric means that it will be way quieter than a helicopter, and its multiple rotors means that it will be safer as well. Now, we mentioned Uber earlier is partnering with Hyundai for this one. So, when can we expect to see the Uber Air, or whatever the app will be called? 
Get this, testing has already begun and the service is slated for 2023. Let's hope you don't have a fear of heights. Worried about what the price is for a flying taxi will be? Maybe we can put your mind at ease a little bit here, because we gotta say, from what has been released so far, prices are nowhere near as bad as you would think. Entry prices for a flying Uber in the SA1 look a little something like this, only three to four dollars per passenger mile. To take that example of a trip from JFK International Airport to Manhattan again, you're looking at only a $50 to $70 price. Not sure if you knew this, but that's about the same as a ground taxi right now, maybe even cheaper. Hyundai is taking even more huge steps in this direction to make sure that these electric flying cars are a reality. Besides investing in their urban air mobility division, they are very dedicated to going electric in general. By 2025, they will invest $7.4 billion in the United States to produce electric vehicles, upgrade their plants, and also improve their smart mobility solutions. They really want to be ahead of the game with this technology. After all, we're not sure if you knew, but they kind of missed the boat when it came to the SUV boom in the early aughts, and they missed out on quite a bit of profit. But that won't be the case this time, and Jose Munoz, Hyundai's global chief operating officer, has gone on record stating, when it comes to future technology, it's never too soon. The pioneers are the winners, and it looks like Hyundai is making sure they have a head start in the race. Oh, before we go, ever wonder what other companies will be in this proverbial race to fill the skies with flying cars and taxis? We got your list right here. Check out these big names in the auto world that are looking upwards. Toyota Motor Corps, Daimler AG, and China's Geely Automobile Holdings. Let's not forget that Elon Musk's Tesla has been teasing an upgrade to the new Roadster that will include rocket technology that will allow it to fly short hops. Hyundai, you better watch out, because it looks like there is no shortage of companies that want a piece of the flying car action. But the biggest rival has to be GM. On January 12th, they unveiled their flying Cadillac, and it's going to be self-driving in addition to flying. Their vision is to have this little flying car soar at speeds of 55 miles per hour and land from urban rooftop to urban rooftop. It will feature sliding doors, a lightweight frame, a panoramic glass roof, and even voice control and hand gesture recognition. Watch out, Hyundai, if there was ever a flying car to take on your SA-1, a flying Cadillac may be it. Hey, thanks for tuning in today and watching our video. If you enjoyed it, click that like button. It helps us out here so much. And if you haven't, hit subscribe so you can be updated the next time one of our videos goes up all about the wealthy and well-off. We'll see you next time right here on The Richest.